This is another random Poundland Halloween delight, uh, as are these chocolate eyeballs, which are so good that I got another packet, and sadly this is the last one. Mm, excuse me one minute. Mm, mm. Mm, yeah, they're nice. And as Ashen points out, Ashen's out, they are just the chocolate bubbles re-wrapped in different foil. Yeah, that's kind of predictable. So, um, yeah, this is a light projector, and initially when I saw it, it said light projector. I was secretly hoping it was going to be like a wee global projector that projected either static or moving images. Oh, excuse me, this chocolate is actually quite nice. Mmm. But, um, it's one of these sort of, like, common celestial projector things on eBay that has various patterns on the outside and some LEDs at the back. And in many ways, I suppose it's, technically speaking, it's what would normally in the theatre should be called a Linebach projector, which just is a bright light source and then uses sort of images on glass, in this case it's plastic, to actually project very simply uh, images. It was just it's an old, old thing in the theatre industry. And I'll show you what this does. I'm going to have to bring in a piece of paper to act as a screen because it's not super mega bright and I'm going to have to turn this light off. So, oh, plunging into the black. So, the first thing is, uh, it's got a white LED that projects the cobweb. That looks pretty good, doesn't it, actually? And it's got all these figures around the outside the ghost. It doesn't actually rotate itself. I'm turning at the moment, but it rotates these static, I should I say, it projects these static images around the room. So there's the cat and stuff like that. And then there's another mode. If I turn that off and turn this one on, suddenly it gets a bit more violent. It's got the red, uh, green alternating LEDs and three of them that just basically alternate and it just creates quite a sort of mishmash of random flashing images. I mean, it works quite well. Yeah, so it's, it's a neat enough effect. It's, it's not super mega bright, but having said that, actually, now I'm looking in the dark, yes it is. So, yeah, um, it's an interesting thing. So let's take it to bits and see what uh, sort of build quality is like. So the top comes off quite easily, it just unclips. And inside are the cluster of three LEDs on the outside, the flashing ones, and the white one in the middle, which is a sort of like the Christmas tree light type thing with this sort of indented cone in the lens and then presumably to give it a nice wide sort of viewing angle so it projects out the side as well. Um, this does not come off. Oh, it takes three double A's, which is good. That's always good because I hate things that take triple A's because double A's have three times the capacity of triple A's uh, in terms of energy density so that, that makes them last longer screwdriver so three screws hold the base on now I have taken other versions of this to bits the sort of eBay-ish type ones and the buttons are best taken off uh, before you pull that out if I recall correctly so they just kind of pull out, oh, the button has actually completely pulled out, so maybe that wasn't the best way to do it. Oh, uh, and that, oh, blimey, yeah, it has all come to bits now. So what have we got? No circuit board, didn't really expect a circuit board. Um, right. So the middle LED, oh, they've got a kind of... They've got three connections onto the battery terminals. The what the connection to the negative is, seems to be common to them all, all the LEDs, and then the positive from the extreme end, the full 4.5 volts, is going through this switch, this click on click off switch. It's feeding the three LEDs um, that flash, whereas the White LED actually has its switch tapped off just across two cells, which is unusual, but I suppose that means they don't need a resistor. It means it's a bit wasteful if you were just using the white LED all the time. When you thought the batteries were flat, one of them wouldn't even have been used. Um, the switches are just a satin. I guess they must just be held in position once the, the case has been closed. I'd say the metal tabs, the battery tabs, are quite close to the back of the switch, so you, if you take this to bits, you'll have to be careful to uh, make sure you put that round the right way so it's not 
down like that with the uh, contacts close to the uh, battery terminal, it's clearly meant to go in sideways. But yeah, it's neat enough. It's quite a good visual effect. It's just a fun Halloween thing. Uh, can it be repurposed for anything? I suppose you could kind of use the battery holder and the base, but I'm not really sure. I don't think you'd really... Um, Oh, that, well, that's just a bit of plastic. I thought that was printed directly onto the the main plastic body. Um, yeah, it's it's interesting enough. It, it, it's a good visual effect. Yeah, it's it's quite a novel thing.